There's one. Oh, God. Here we go, baby. What? Is, what? Is, I don't even know what this is. Is this snow or sleet? Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today doing a little bit of pond fishing. It's been pretty warm here where I live, but over the last couple of days, we've had some extremely cold weather. It was like 70 and 80 degrees, and now it's been in the 30s the last couple of nights, and it literally snowed like three or four inches the other night. Luckily, all the snow has melted. When you have these type of conditions, these really cold fronts in the spring, a lot of times, guys, you just have to go in after the bass. They're not gonna come out of cover to get a bait, so you you have to go in after them so that's what i'm planning to do hopefully we can catch some there's a lot of cattails there's a couple of like wood lay downs here i think that that stuff should hold fish we're gonna get to it it's a little bit cold out right now a little bit windy let's go catch them Yep. Good old pond fish. Oh yeah. Here we go, babe. Nice start of the day. Good pond fish. Absolutely choked that jig, dude. That fish was right underneath that dock. Just another form of cover on this pond, you know. With this cold weather conditions that we got going on in here, I really expect these fish to be kind of bunkered in and definitely tight to cover. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh, Trying to try to swing him. Dadgum it. Dude, that was the first cast with that bad boy. That was so awesome. I literally watched that fish come out and grab that bait. That was the first cast. We got a little bit of changing conditions here. We got a front coming in. We just had a front a couple of days ago. So, sometimes. Okay. Right when I was talking about flipping, get old hammer down there. Golly, look at that fatty. Well, beautiful fish, healthy fish. Let that guy go. That looks like a little female. Gosh, another one just freaking hit that. Yeah, I get a lot of questions about pond fishing and some of the complete guides that I do. And in a lake, it's really easy to kind of follow creek channels and, and kind of find where bass would pre-spawn. Now, in a pond, it's a little bit different. If you look at this pond from the air, I know in that bend, in the curve right here in front of me, those fish spawn all over that. And literally two days ago, I bet these fish were thinking about spawning up there. And a lot of times those fish are gonna be hanging just off. I mean, I'm talking 10, 12 feet, just away from where they're gonna be spawning, just sitting in a little bit deeper water, waiting for the weather to warm up before they can kind of move up. And I, that's exactly where that last bass was. I absolutely just got hammered by another fish right up in there. The only thing is this bait, I really need a little bit of wind to make 
make these fish commit to it right now and i don't have any unfortunately so really i should switch up i don't really have many baits with me today because i expected to do a little bit more flipping but that's a perfect classic pre-spawn area Sure is. Snowing, sleeting, raining. Wow. Unbe freaking leaveable. Are you kidding me right now? What is, what is, I don't even know what this is. Is this snow or sleet? Like I don't know what that is. guy way up in there though gosh got him perfect can't ask for a better hook set right there right through the bone right in the thick stuff over there gosh there's one he's got it oh Come on, fish. There you go. <laughs> Another little one, but man, he was in that thick stuff. Tony, what? When you have these cold front conditions, you've got to go to them. All right, guys, we are going to head quick to another pond and see if we can't apply some of those same techniques of, you know, flipping heavy cover as well as kind of just pulling off of those areas that those bass typically are this time of the year. Let's try to head to a different pond, see if we can't do the same thing. That's a big one. Finally. Oh my gosh. Freaking finally. Yeah. There we go, baby. Man, I'll tell you what, when that fish hit that, it was literally, it was literally like a ton of bricks. Gosh, he hit it so hard. That looks like a little female. Got some eggs in her. Gosh. Man, I freaking love swim baits. I mean, how fun was that? Thank you, fish. Probably a good three pounder. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna put in the video, but I had gone all the way up into the freaking jungle over there. And I kept thinking to myself, man, I need to come over on this side because the wind, as you can see, we have a ripple over on this side, not much on that side. And I just kept saying to myself, man, you need to go fish that wind. Like, that's what you need to do. And so, finally came over here and just got freaking corked by a solid fish. That fish was way off the bank here. I mean, he was probably in three or four foot of water, way off the bank. More than likely, those fish are gonna be spawning up and along this bank. And just like those fish at the other pond, they were just pulled off. Guys, I can't tell you, there's there's really two things that you can do when a cold front hits in a pond and that's one try to find the thick cover like we did earlier flipping those fish and the cattails around the docks and the wood the other thing is just pull off of where the fish normally are again these fish are getting ready to spawn up and along this bend here and those fish are just they just pull off you know they just pull off 10 15 20 feet and they're just hanging out there waiting for the weather and water to stabilize before they can come back in. That's a huge tip. I hope you, I hope I'm explaining that the right way because that is such a huge tip and it, it holds true. Like this is two ponds that we've been to today. Both of them have had fish doing the exact same thing. They're either tight in cover or they're pulled way off. So keep that in mind when you're pond fishing, if a cold front hits, especially in the spring like we are right now. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video, please comment below, and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.